streets up. What's going on today guys, Tom here, welcome back to another episode. Judging by the thumbnail and the video title, you guys know why you clicked on this video. Also, I have not seen any in-depth actual videos on this specific topic at all. You guys can search it up, you guys can look everywhere you want on every single thing, every single site known, known nationwide. You guys are not going to find a video just like this, so make sure you guys stay tuned. If you guys like these type of videos and anything on my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon whenever I post a new one because this summer is going to be a banger season. I'm telling you guys right now, you guys don't want to miss this, but right now, let's get to the point of this right here. This is a 2019 Z18 with a red, black, and white combo and a color. So right now, we're going to be doing a complete overhaul review of this boat. There's going to be a different video coming out soon of basically the first ride, the test, the break-in, how it performs on the water, everything else, and a couple weeks, in a couple weeks, so we'll get to that in a further video, but right now we're going to do an overview of the boat, and hope you guys stay tuned and enjoy it, and see what you guys think. Make sure you just hit subscribe, right down there. It's right there, it's, it's in red. I'll just post it right here, it's like right over here. So, make sure you guys hit that, let's get into it. deck right now this is the main headquarters of where I do all my work for the YouTube channel so right now what we got right here you guys you guys don't know but you need to have carpet decals to know that you're a sponsor if you're a sponsor you need to have these and rep your companies that's basically what you gotta do so right now I got Wu Tungsten Bass Dynasty is gonna go right here where I'm standing and basically they just didn't get made yet because of quarantine so right now we're gonna go through all the rod lockers we're gonna go through the tackle boxes we're gonna go through the storage how much space is actually inside this boat and basically let me put it into perspective of how big this boat is I'm 510 Okay, we can take boat naps on this boat. Lengthwise. Like, this is amazing. A 5'10 person can fit across a boat. Maybe six foot. Six foot person. You cannot get that with an aluminum boat by Tracker. So, let's get into more of the in depth review. Alright, guys, so right now we're gonna start at the front of the boat. Right now, the first step up is gonna be your cooler. This is a 30 gallon cooler. I get a trash can. Name a boat that actually gives you a personal trash can. Beautiful 30 gallon cooler. I got a sandwich tray so my sandwiches don't get soggy. Beautiful. So right now we got a cup holder here, cup holder here, tool tray right here. So let's get into the main parts of what's going on here. All right, so right now we got Z Bayco, we got Fast Pro Shop Jeweler, we got the Bass Dynasty and Bucket Mouth Brand Challenge here. So right now this is just a tackle spot. I have roughly four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, about 20 tackle boxes in this rod locker. I got gloves, I got my scale. I got everything you would possibly need, so there's multiple storage opportunities. You can stack this into the brim. Nothing's going to affect how this closes. Nice soft close. Beautiful. Awesome. All right, let's start on the rod locker. Not really much to talk about here. Ugh. Right now I got rod lockers about 10 to 15 rods in here. Not really much to go off of, but um, yeah, rod lockers. Not really much about rods and reels. On the third rod locker right here, who tunks in on top. I got my pedestal seat because this storage is a lot. I don't have enough tackle for all this. I got two life vests. I 
got a Guggen money bag right here. Mass Pro Shop Life Vest. Basically the essentials that you need for passenger quality. To prove how big the Nitro Z18 compartments are, like this is insane. Like I'm gonna take everything out of this compartment. Okay? And it has the least amount in it. I got my pedestal seat right here. Take the lift jackets, take them out. Got a couple extra safety things there. That there. You ready? Like I'm able to fit in my compartment. How crazy is this? A 5'10 person can fit in a boat compartment. This is amazing. Ugh. Where are you, Rob? Ah, oh, there you are. Hey. Oh. So there you, there you guys have it. The Z18 has plenty of storage where you can fit inside if there's a rainstorm. So, that's always a plus, right? Man, it's hot. Oof. Why don't you hop back in and tell me how it is? I, I don't want to hop back in there. Uh -uh. <laughs> it's hot in there. That's exactly why we go in there for a rainstorm. So, well, so to put this back in, I just figured I'd prove to you guys how much storage there actually was in this little tiny boat. Toss that in, toss that in, put the money bag, boom. Looking good. All right guys, so basically, this boat is insane. I cannot complain at all with it. Your bungee straps, not really much to talk about that. Hold your rods down from going 100 miles an hour with a link popping out. We got Z-Bayco carpet decal up there. So guys, this is basically it. At the front of the boat right now, we have a Minn Kota, Minn Kota 4 Trex, 80 pound thrust, 24 volt trolling motor. And can't argue with it. I couldn't, I don't want to put all the extra money into an Ultrax or the Lorenz Ghost because I'm broke. But if anybody wants to pay me more, I'm totally down for that. So right now we got Minn Kota 4 Trex up here, behemoth of a trolling motor. And that's basically the front deck. Not really much to talk about. Oh, right here. Forgot about this. All right, guys. So basically, on the final part of the front part, again, we have the four trucks here hooked up. I have a Garmin Striker Plus Four down scan right here, just so I don't run into any rocks. Because in the near future, I'm going to be upgrading this to probably a Hummingbird or possibly another Garmin system right here. So that's basically going to go right here, or we're going to do the oversized mounting bracket. So basically, that's how it is. We got a nice prop right here. Especially the front of the boat. Not really much to talk about, but the cool thing about this though, I want to talk about it. The Garmin Striker Plus 4 that took over just so I don't run into rocks, I made them so that they, um, I can take it off. They didn't permanently mount it into anything. So I used the purpose of the cup holder up front and basically mounts it right in. It sits perfect. I can gimbal it any way I want. So this was the major plus that Nitro did for me as a huge favor. So thanks Nitro, really appreciate it. Um, got tool holder right here. I got pliers, not really much up there because I'm probably going to be in the back of the boat if I'm going to unhook a fish. But um, yeah, so not really much about talking about it. So right, let's move to the back of the boat. All right, guys, so this is the center console. This is where I do my, my vroom vroom in. I'm doing about 100 miles an hour over across the lake. So um, right now on the center console, pretty standard. I got the fish rod that came with it. This is the Hook 5, and it does have down scan. It has everything except side scan. So I'm going to be upgrading this in the front trolling motor and probably the fish rider in a later video. But um, right now, to show you what I got, I got power, I got nav lights, I got dimmer, I got your, basically just your key entry. I also have, on this side, I have the aerator, auto and manuals, I got recircling pump, I got the pump out, I got the bilge. I also have a nice, beautiful one. So, people will be able to hear me go down to the water and just like, beep everybody. But right now I got the trim up, I got the stability control, RPMs, I got miles per hour fuel, and battery voltage right here. So basically everything you need to know and the plus to whatever it tells you on the fish finder, you guys are gonna be set with this boat at all. Also another thing, these seats, these seats are amazing. Like they hug you perfect. Like you, you can go like fast as heck and you're not gonna get thrown out of here. Also it has grab handles on for the middle person here. Also the side person. I feel sorry for the person that has to sit in the front to film. So sorry about that person. There's no, there's no grab handles there buddy. All right guys, another thing, you also have the side accent light here. Nice little push switch on. I also have, let's turn the power off, Wu Tungsten Pro Staff. I got the Bass Dynasty, brand new sticker right here. So you guys repping, I'm also repping those guys. Got the Nitro, beautiful console right here. And also another thing, when this little shield comes off and then you need to replace the power steering, there's a little notch in there that you need to screw the fluid into. So it's very easy to change and flush out if you guys need to, but the amount of times that you're gonna be driving and not using the trolling motor, it'd be perfect to just leave, leave it the way it is. So right now, what you guys got here, you got one, two, two cup holders, 
two cup holders in the driver's seat, two cup holders in the center storage, and one cup holder in the front. So there's seven cup holders in total to have a beautiful beer with while you're fishing. So this is basically a, I'm not gonna say alcohol extreme, but <laughs> <laughs> not gonna say that at all. All right guys, so for the passenger side on the Z18, you have six rod, rod holders right here. They actually come right up to the side. They have a rub rail right here so that when you don't scratch your boat and there's a also a Velcro mount up there to keep them in place while you drive 100 miles an hour down the lake. Um, these, these are very interesting. So you have three thumb screws right here. One, two, three. You're able to put a center second console on here, but I like having all the extra room to be able to move around and film and be able to have a good time with it. So that's basically what I'm gonna be doing. So we're gonna keep that the way it is. So now we're on the back deck right now. This is basically where Rob's gonna be filming. He's got a lot of nice space up here. My dad's gonna be fishing. And even if I'm doing a co-angler tournament, they can be fishing back here. So the props of having a giant back deck is you have giant compartments right here. So the first things first, I can keep camera gear in here for Rob. I can keep lunch, I can keep, I can keep more tackle boxes up to 3,700 Plano. Um, you can put beer in here if you want that doesn't fit in the cooler. So um, this is a really good additive. Also, a thing that Nitro does that no other boat has done, these are fully like removable and you can literally just put anything you want here. You can take it into your tackle cave, start working on some baits, get ready for the next tournament. And also, this is a rigger's dream. If you like to do your own work on your boats, if you want to work on your bilge pump, batteries, anything like that, this is all access right here. I'm touching the battery right here. This is beautiful. I got some water in there from the rain. But um, overall, this boat has tons of space. Utilize it correctly and you're going to get a lot of bang for your buck. So, let's move, move away from that. Alright, so right here, this is the live well. Aerator, pump in, pump out. You guys know the difference, but this is where I keep all my 10 pounders. This is where I catch all my behemoths of bass. A lot of major hogs come in here. So we're going to catch a lot of those in summer. So right now, I have two trolling boaters rank cranking. These are interstate batteries. They are very good. I have the three bank battery charger on the side, also the bilge pump at the very bottom. Um, I have more than enough room to mount power poles or talons if I want to, so this is going to be great when I have more money and I can actually improve this boat the way I want. So beautiful with that. Now I come over to the last compartment over on the side. There we go. Beautiful. Alright guys, so right now this is just my, this is my dummy box. I got the throwable life vest, I got an extra net. I got a tie down, the flashlight, and some extra wipes just in case I, I kind of want to be clean for once. I kind of want to keep this clean for it's brand new. So that's basically, the, I call that the dummy box because if you're the dumb one and you fall overboard, that's basically what you're going to end up using. The Behemoth, this is the Mercury 150 2019 brand new motor, zero hours on it. So right now this thing is topping out that I read online with this boat. It tops out about 62 miles an hour on full plane on perfect conditions. Other than that, it's about maybe 57, 58. So this thing's going to be flying across the water. You're going to be zooming across. So if you guys want to see me zoom across the water, make sure you hit that subscribe button right below. And also on the motor that it comes with, I actually bought these. These are the steering stabilizer brackets. They actually keep the motor from shifting while you're trailing it. Overall, first boat, not a bad, not a bad rig. Can't complain. I do plan on getting it wrapped because I don't want the paint to be fading and oxidizing. So the wrap might be coming soon. I'll be able to wrap the YouTube channel and the brands. So basically guys, if you guys like the video, if you guys want to see more of the boat and how many 10 pounders we actually catch, Rob will be happy. He'll be having a space to film and be able to fish also. So if you guys like this type of video, like the video and also subscribe to see what's going to come after quarantine when we're allowed on the waters. So I hope you guys like it. Go catch a 10 pounder. I'll catch you guys soon. Wait the streets.